Good afternoon, Chairman Parker, Commissioner Mercer, and members of the Board of Environmental Protection. My name is Caitlin Bernard. I'm the main program associate with the Appalachian Mountain Club, and I'm here today on behalf of our 5,200 members in Maine, raising concerns with the proposed Chapter 200 metallic mineral mining rules. The AMC is the nation's oldest outdoor recreation and conservation organization, and we're dedicated to promoting the protection, enjoyment, and understanding of the mountains, forests, waters, and trails. Here in Maine, we manage 70,000 acres of land in Piscataquis County and focus our initiatives on outdoor recreation, resource protection, sustainable forestry, and community partnerships. We have been involved in this process since 2012, as, as many of you and many others who have been here um, have been, and I, I really appreciate all of the work that's gone into this process. The rule document is a long, long document, so it, it takes a lot of effort to really dig into this stuff, and I appreciate all the work that you've all done behind this. Um, we also, like many others, appreciate some of the changes in this draft. We are really excited to have seen the 10-year limit on the post-closure period. That was something that we've asked for several times, so that's something that we really appreciate. Um, we also appreciate the other the other things that have been mentioned. I won't, you know, you've heard this all day. So the, the positive changes, we really appreciate the work that went into that. Um, we still do have some concerns with the statewide implications of opening up mining development. Um, I, I really appreciate what the UMaine graduate student said earlier, that the more clarity in all of this process and the more clarity in the rules, the better outcomes for everyone. So I think that that's something that really resonated with me today. Um, we specifically oppose the provisions in the rules before you that put Maine's public land and water bodies at risk of mining development, um, the provisions that allow high-risk tailing impoundments, and specifically, we, we think that the provisions that consider floodplains and flood hazard areas as acceptable for mining activities is something that we have a lot of concern with. Um, I'll focus on the public lands piece. I know today we've talked a lot about where that falls in your jurisdiction, um, and I had not seen the the memo from the Attorney General, so that's something that I'll look for um, in the next steps of the process. But I think as a conservation and outdoor recreation organization, we're, that's where we're specifically concerned. Um, we're concerned that allowing mining on and under Maine's public reserve lands and lots is something that we think is, is a huge concern. Um, the rule should specifically prohibit mining in those places because these lots are managed by the state to serve the public interest. Um, and opening them up to mining development seems like a bad idea. Uh, specifically for AMC, three of these public reserve lots fall within the Moosehead Lake region, where AMC owns and manages our property. Um, and, and aside from our own personal investment, the state of Maine has invested $6 million of public, sorry. <laughs> um, the state of Maine has invested $6 million of public money in the Katahdin Ironworks Conservation Project and manages that parcel for conservation and public access. These public lots fall wholly or partially within this conservation property and have been managed for decades for remote recreation, deer wintering, habitat, and sustainable timber management. Opening these parcels and the many others across the state, I know debully has been mentioned a lot. I grew up in Aroostook County and, and know that <laughs> there are these places all over the state that people treasure. Um, Opening these parcels to mining development directly contradicts and undermines decades of careful management by the state and the millions of dollars invested by the Maine citizens on the conservation of these lands. Um, these public reserve lots, like I said, are scattered across the state and should not be put at risk for mining development. Um, our other concerns you've heard in detail today, so I will wrap it up at that because I think the, the public lands is our biggest concern. So. I'll submit some written testimony with some more specific changes. Thank you. Thank you.